It just seems that no matter what my heart is yearning for, if I need encouragement or consolation or comfort, if I'm discouraged or frightened or worried, on the other hand, if I'm filled with joy and I just need more words with which to praise the Lord, or if it's one of those times where I just want to be in His presence, I just want to bask in His incredible love, whatever it is, I find it in the pages of that remarkable book. And it's interesting, the chapters that we're, we are going to be reading this week, chapter 20 through chapter 50, you will find those very themes interwoven throughout all of those chapters. Over 50 times, David talks about being afraid, being ashamed, having to deal with his enemies. Over 60 times, he talks about being filled with joy and he uses words like blessing and praise and worship. And over 70 times, David seems to be overwhelmed with the awesomeness of God. He speaks of God's glory and his holiness, God's strength. He calls God a refuge a redeemer and a deliverer. And there are other themes, actually, that are interwoven throughout those chapters, one of them being mercy. And that word, mercy, the translation of two individual Hebrew words. The first one is chesed. Experts have said if you're ever only going to learn one Hebrew word in your entire life, it should be chesed. It's that important in the biblical vocabulary of redemption. It's an interesting word in that it's kind of like a puzzle with three pieces. The first piece is power, God's strength and power, ability to make all of this happen. The second piece is permanence, unshakable, immovable, not going anywhere ever, permanence. And the third piece is love, God's passionate, though unmerited care for his people. And those three pieces are inextricably linked, working together to create the meaning of this incredible word. It speaks of intimate, personal relationship, involvement, and commitment. It speaks of God's extravagant generosity and his devotion to his people. The other word is rachamim. It comes from a Hebrew root, which means womb. And it speaks of the tender love of a mother for her infant that she has carried in her womb, that she has given birth to and now holds tenderly in her arms. She carefully counts those tiny toes and things. She gently touches that baby's skin and runs her fingers over those tufts of silken hair. Such is Rachamim, and such is God's mercy toward his people. So this week, as you are reading Psalms 20 through 50, I want you to remember these themes that are woven throughout the chapters. I want you to look for these different words that we've talked about tonight. I want you to look for God's mercy. And when you find it, I want you to remember chesed and rachamim. And there's one more theme that I want you to remember, and that is God's unshakable, immovable faithfulness toward his people, toward you and toward me.